At the Co-op Cafe, we have three main goals. Advance our thinking, build shared understanding, and create alignment at our co-ops and among co-ops. These goals exist in three layers. During the session, at our individual co-ops, and among co-ops regionally and nationally. Our theme for this session is Thriving in the New Competitive Landscape. We use the World Cafe format to focus on two powerful questions. For this session, the questions were, what does it mean to successfully compete in the marketplace? And, imagine that we're heading off on a journey into a future that includes co-ops thriving in a competitive marketplace. On our journey, what should we take? What should we leave behind? We asked the small groups to distill the conversations they've been having down to just a few words. A person from each group shares their work. Here's a sampling. Magnify the co-op difference that we are about the local economy and local control. Find and fill unmet needs in the community. And figure out what's next. Um, democracy, the environment. Meet needs. Maintain principles. Set and understand trends. Differentiate process and product. Following trends, grab and go, ease and availability. Increase efficiency and improve service. Communication with membership to achieve inclusion. Integrate social and business purpose. Creatively tell the co-op story. Grow and adapt to the market. Local, social, and market factors matter. Member owner loyalty is competitive advantage. And finally, compete to cooperate. Stay flexible, knowledgeable, innovative. Stay fiscally responsible and sound. And educate on the co-op advantage. Expand into convenience stores with gas pumps. <laughs> Regional marketing efforts increase, and then increase regional, national buying power. Build relationships in the community. Demonstrate accessibility, approachability, and inclusion. And effective communication. Tell your story. Well, we can't beat the, our competitors' prices and margins, but we, can, we should certainly get closer. We have a lot of information about ourselves, but we still haven't successfully communicated it succinctly. And uh, since uh, natural foods have become a mainstream, what's the new alternative? Co-ops as community centers, perhaps? Uh, communication and planning. Ensure that we have a diverse and trusted supply chain. And emphasize the principles and values that make up the cooperative difference. Co-ops working together, sharing best practices. Telling our story to staff, community, and member owners. Thinking outside the box. The ownership model as our distinctive difference. That we have allies as well as competitors. And that we are values-based organizations. Happy and engaged employees. Education about values and positive price perception. A strong GM, CFO, including management leadership team, and a succession plan. Educate people about the differentiation in the co-op model. Emphasize local products. Offer identity with our purpose. Be ahead of the curve, taking creative initiatives to exploit our niches. Education through signage, customer service, workshops, training, and advocacy and collaboration with other co-ops, farmers and producers, and for distribution and aggregation. Um, transparent identity as a co-op, part of the surrounding community, and informed and engaged staff. Sharing and knowing that our co-op money stays in the community and supports the community, affordability and accessibility of products to our consumers, and our perception in the community to our customers and prospective buyers. Be innovative ahead of trends, challenge your assumptions of inclusivity, and diversify into other venues, not just food. Communicate to the community, engage with member owners, become, become, become a key community leader, and weave co-op values and principles into a new business model. When community sells the co-op, sustainable local economy as norm, 
no fear to explore, expand, and grow. Create education and awareness about the co-op model. Create awareness about our local nature and our connection with the community. And three tactics of um, showing our differentiation and the unique nature of our organization and learning from the industry. Okay, we had meeting community needs, sustaining profitability and values and education and relationships for customers. Co-op business model, following it and educating uh, members and shoppers about what that means. Uh, following sustainable business practices and uh, relationship building amongst uh, staff, membership, community, and larger food web. We had increasing cooperation for scale, selling your values, and telling your story well. Community and convenience. Do not follow them into darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Longevity and flexibility. Understand needs and fill them. Hub for community building. And lead in employee satisfaction. Improve perceptions to customers of educa by educating the customers with marketing about the quality value and low pricing. Enhance customer experience. Understand your customers' needs, wants, and expectations and strive to do your best to meet them. Be creative and innovative to bring in customers to grow and to grow membership. Promote cooperative values and ideals, stressing community ownership as different than the competitors. Be profitable to stay open. Must be profitable and long-lasting seeing steady growth of mid-level to core shoppers. Educate staff and membership about the impact of what a co-op dollar buys. And reclaim our place as independent and innovative, leaders versus followers, through technology, shopping experience, and products. Thank you.